News. All right, tough picks now from uh, David Burroughs, president of Barometer Capital Management. You talked earlier about Telus Corporation. You're going to talk about Interpipeline, but you want to talk generally about uh, dividend pairs. Yeah, we're big believers in finding secular themes in the market where there is ongoing demand that will be there for a long time. And the one area in this market we know there's demand for is yield. Not just baby boomers getting older, people looking for some form of certainty. In periods of very low interest rates, what has tended to happen in the past is corporations recognize the need for income replacement and start to use their cash flow to pay it out to their stakeholders. So in the 1930s, companies eventually were paying 100% of their earnings out to their investors by dividends. In the 1940s and 50s, interest rates were between 2 and 3% for 14 years. And by the end of that period, companies were paying out 65 and 70 and 80 percent of their earnings. The average company is paying out 27, 28 percent of their earnings today, but it is rising. So we want to find companies that have the ability to pay out and grow their dividend because that's what investors are looking for. So specifically, TELUS, you know, has raised its dividend for the last three years, was very upfront about it. We think given the metrics, likely at the end of this year, they'll come out again and say, we think we can continue to grow our dividend 10% a year. And if you can pick up a strong dividend yield and one that grows at 10% a year, there's buyers for that all day long. Uh, and uh, continuing with that thing, Interpipeline. Well, an Interpipe, Interpipeline fits that bill, so we've recommended this one before. Big part of their business is getting uh, service fee revenues for uh, transporting uh, liquefied natural gas up to the oil sands, which is then purchased by the producers, mixed with bitumen and sent back down the pipeline to send it on the way to the refinery. And as we get volume growth from the oil sands, well, it'll go from about 1.7 billion barrels, sorry, million barrels a day to 4.5 million barrels a day by 2020. The demand for that condensate is going to continue to grow, and the companies that can provide the debottlenecking of that pipe will get paid well, and we think that they can grow their dividend by seven and a half or eight percent a year for the next three years as they have for the last three years. Very pragmatic stuff tonight, David. We appreciate it. And your other top pick is cash. You mentioned in some cases you're looking at uh, 30 percent. Yeah, we think we just think this will give you flexibility and opportunity to purchase some of these things as they pull back over the next little while uh, as as we go through some of the concerns around economic growth in North America going through the fiscal cliff. Cash, Interpipeline, and tell us those are uh, David Burroughs' top picks. Great to see you, sir. Great to be here. Thanks very much for having me. You're welcome, and uh, we'll see you again very soon. One of our regulars, of course, David Burroughs. Thanks for all your calls and emails uh, tonight. We have uh, Bill Kerrigan tomorrow night on a technical analysis. Uh, follow me on Twitter, if you like, at MarkBuntingBNN. For now, we will say goodnight, and we'll see you tomorrow. Take care.